So you got cat tuber, but you speak English. I'm gonna go through and uh, show you some of the settings and all that kind of stuff. Just a basic overview of cat tuber. So you got it on Steam. You open it up and this is what you see. Uh, cute little cat girl and it's following your your keys. Oh, there we go. You know what I mean? It looks really good. So let's take a look at the settings. So this was something I was worried about before I purchased it. Was the where was the program going to be in English? It is. It's fairly intuitive. Um, you just play around for five minutes and you'll figure it out. But I'm going to show you how to change the table and all that kind of crap. So if you go to content settings, what you have is the list of plugins that are integrated into the program itself already. Um, you can make your own, but it requires using something called Live 2D, which is like a, I don't know if it's Chinese or Japanese, but it uh, it's like a rigging program for VTubers. And uh, it looks really difficult. <laughs> so I'm gonna show you how to work around a lot of that crap for free. But anyway, so these are the plugins. Um, and then in the view area, that's what you're actually seeing. So uh, if I go to table, for instance, let's say I, I wanna have a full keyboard and I wanna type. If you right click on the table, go to settings, you'll see um, it's got mapping settings and all that, which is good, but this is where you wanna click. The 28 common gaming keyboard. This is where you can change to gamepad, you can change to whatever that is drawing tablet um, or osu or whatever uh, but i like to have the full keyboard so then once you have selected this if you double click it does nothing so you just have to x out and it has selected the 77 key keyboard and you hit ok and now we're able to freaking go to town right Next one is the handheld item, same thing. You go to set, right click and go to settings, and then you can click on it and you can choose your drawing pen or just your uh, black RGB mouse, whatever. And uh, you can change the, the effect or the color by just moving these RGB lights around. I, I just like to keep it at basic. Oh wait, color effect, what's that? Ooh, so it changes. No thanks. Um, I'll keep it at this. And then the last one is the character. If you go to settings here, there, there is. This is Mimi. This is the original cat tuber. But you can choose this thing or this like fox thing. This fox one looks a lot better. It's along the same lines as uh, Mimi, but I think Mimi looks the cleanest. <laughs> but I got a problem. So, I mean, that's the basics, like, hey, you got CatTuber, it, it works fine. Um, when you add it to OBS, you're gonna add your game um, capture, and then you can just call it CatTuber, or whatever you wanna call it. So I'm just gonna keep it game capture. And then we're gonna uh, capture a specific window, and we're gonna capture uh, CatTuber, okay? You'll notice that it shows up at with a black border. What you wanna do is you wanna click allow transparency and then that fixes that black border. Okay, so we're good there. Okay, so CatTuber's cool, but if I go into Steam and I go into the uh, discussions, it's difficult because if you wanna, if you wanna do something like make your own or whatever, you're gonna have to go through here and there's a, there's a person that asks a good question. Uh, Entropy Demic says, can you make your own cat dude? And uh, he said, never man read, uh, read a thread about posted by the dev. But basically they explain that um, if you go to the GitHub by Moco, he has all of his information in there about how to do live 2D cubism and all that kind of stuff. So I downloaded that and uh, Let's take a look. So here's that GitHub document. And it is 
one of those where it's just okay here's here's the basics or whatever um the models are all json and, and cmos3 files um there are some documents but these are md files so you have to open them up in md or maybe it maybe it requires like a not a notepad let's see here uh, let's check more apps can i open it up in pdf oh let's see error no so you have to open up uh, the md file somewhere else either way it, these do go through how to um change some things like the models or whatever but i i it still requires like this like rigging program and I was like, nah, man, there's gotta be a better way. Also her mouth doesn't move and I just don't wanna be a cat girl. So what did I do? I'll show you. I got this program here called VitoTube. So what is VitoTube? It's for PNG tubers where, um, let's see. Do that. Okay, now we're talking. So basically you input four different photos, a photo with the closed mouth, open mouth, uh, closed mouth blinking, close and open mouth blinking. And so when you're talking in your mic, it kind of shakes around and stuff. And you can set it to different sensitivities and whatnot. So I took that and then in OBS, I basically just added it on top of the cat. So I'll show you what that looks like. So let's take away cat here and then I'll show you what I did boom take a look looks pretty good so this is a good workaround for now until they add a uh, steam workshop but yeah that's that's the basics uh cat tuber is pretty cool looks cool I enjoy the fact that it's got the little hands and it follows your mouse and stuff like that um you know this isn't a perfect uh what would you call perfect uh solution but it's something so also i didn't see any Eng english guys out there so yeah that's about it man um last thing i wanted to say is to the developer thanks bro 